Hi folks, my name is Lori and I live here in Newfoundland and I noticed that there's not a whole lot of um, videos regarding gardening and whatnot in our province. So I wanted to um, do the sustainable living on our property. So um, I'm going to give you a quick tour of our property and, and just so that everybody can see what it's actually like to um, do farming and gardening and um, trying to be more sustainable living within our province. It is very difficult. We have a lot of weather issues that are a challenge here. So I guess what I'll do is I'll start you out with a, a quick tour of our property and show you what we have. Um, right now we are on April 12th, 2017. And let me give you a quick tour of what we got going on. All right, folks, as you can see, I'm dressed up, ready to go. I am in my winter coat. Yes, still April winter coat. And I don't know if you can see down there, I left my boots at work. And uh, so now I have these light things and you're gonna see why now in a minute, why I needed my big winter boots still. So come on out and uh, let's have the tour. All right. This is our back porch wood box and this is April 12th in Newfoundland and we have tons of snow everywhere still. We had a big blizzard at the beginning of the month where we received about four feet of snow, some places a little bit more. but. You can see some of my garden right there is just barely peeking through. There's the whiny one and the babe. We've got about a half an acre of property here. Pardon me, an acre and a half. You can't see it for all the snow. Beautiful little creek that comes along down here. And this is our back area. <coughs> So let's now take a walk. Hey, Jackson. Without falling through the snow. Yes, my baby. So over here this year, the side of the house, this is where my herb garden is going to go. I'm going to try and plant my herb garden there. I'd like to do some sunflower seeds along the very back and Maybe incorporate some of my tomatoes in with my herbs and this is a very sunny location normally um, in the summertime. It is our chicken coop. We had a few chickens in there last year but uh, they're not here right now. Hopefully we'll get some more soon. <coughs> the shed. And all this area that you're seeing right here that's covered in snow. It's going to be garden this year. But uh, like I said, this is April 12th and we still have a lot of snow. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll zoom in here. That was our burn barrel. And it was covered probably about another four or five inches above that with snow just last week. So we've got a lot of melting but not nearly enough for what we need to be doing here and let's see if I can find my way around here without going through the snow. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Right up to my knee there. Let's get over onto the gravel. Oh land. Now this is our front deck. And I've got a bit of a garden over here. Hopefully I'll get some pretty flowers and everything in there this year, but I'm also gonna be planting in my cabbages and cauliflowers and some of the bigger ve vegetables. And uh, over there, let's see if you can see them. Last year we planted a couple cherry trees. So I've got one there, a little one there. 
I don't expect them to do anything much this year, but uh, hopefully they'll get a little taller. Down lower there, I'm hoping to have another garden eventually. It might not be this year, but it could be next year. All those alders that are down there, I'm going to cut them down and take those branches and hopefully use them to um, do my edging for my raised gardens. We have a buried raised garden over here. We did last year. Never used it. But uh, this year hopefully we'll have it filled and um, get some trellises and everything growing on there so I can grow my beans and everything. This will hopefully be all very different in another few weeks. I'm hoping all the snow will, will be gone. But definitely beautiful views of the bay. Love it. But again, Newfoundland is very beautiful, but the weather's always not that great. So, so over around here, on this side of our house, this here is our uh, woodshed. But it used to be my greenhouse until we needed a place to put our wood. So, I can get around here, I'll show you the inside, what it was. It was actually a very nice greenhouse. But, I think next time I want a bigger one. And, uh, you might get to see the building of that one this summer. So, I'll come around here now. There's our well down there, and our creek runs along there. And all this side, along here, we have a big old slope. And I'm hoping that we can get some yummy apple trees and maybe some more cherry trees growing along down here. Yeah. See if we can get around here without falling down. I know I will. We're melting. We're melting. All right. So here's a little up close of our cherry tree. I don't know. Let me see. Is that anything? Yeah, maybe some new growth there. A little bit. A little more soon. Down there again. We're going to trim all those alders and use them for fencing. And hopefully we can get some more plants down in here. My flower garden, which we're going to incorporate our vegetables into here this year. And then over that far part of the deck, this corner right here, I am looking at hopefully putting in some grapes. I'd like to try some grapes. And we have an old tree, I guess you could say, that we picked up from the beach as driftwood. And uh, he's all covered by snow, so I can't show you him right now, but when the snow is all melted, I'll show you. And uh, that old tree I'm going to put down at the end of the deck there and hopefully the grape trees will, or grapevines, pardon me, will grow up there. Up here, top of our driveway, right up in this area right here, where it's still piles of snow, we have tons and tons of raspberry bushes. And uh, when the season's ready, we'll go up there and we'll pick some. Jackson loves his raspberries. He likes to go raspberry picking with mom. And then he rolls in them and eats them. So that'll be a treat for us to see.
Anyways, folks, um, that's the tour of our home. And hopefully we will have lots more videos to show you as the, the snow melts and the summer sun comes out and we'll have lots of good planting videos. So stay tuned. See ya.